Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Klipsch Pro Media 2.1 THX Premium Desktop Speaker System. It's been around since pff, the early 2000s. It's nothing new. It's a pretty um, old system, but you know, Klipsch has been selling these things for years. I saw it on sale, uh, picked it up. Why not? A great chance to do a video. And yeah, let's just dive right into it. Inside the box, you have your owner's manual. Nothing, nothing too fancy. It's just, you know, pretty simple. Gives you some pictures, how you hook up the speaker wires, and they recommend that you connect this thing straight into the outlet. Um, but I, I would recommend that you use a surge protector. Okay, so as soon as you open it, uh, the speakers are right here. I'll just take them out one by one. This is one of the speakers. You know, the build quality, it, it feels it feels good. It feels nice. Um, there's a speaker wire itself. The wire is connected to the speaker. It's not detachable. It take off the grill. There's your three inch driver. It's kind of nice. And your horn tweeter. So that's one speaker. Then you have another set of speakers. Same thing, uh, the speaker wire is connected to the speaker itself. You have the little control panel with the uh, subwoofer. And there's a little mark there. I, I guess, you know, they were, I guess that means uh, they recommend keeping the subwoofer volume there. And then you have your main volume knob. You have a headphone jack and you have another, I guess that's audio out. The rest of the wires are connected and one of these wires goes to the subwoofer and this goes to your computer. And this thing is detachable. You can have it detached so the speaker is kind of by itself and this unit well i guess it's kind of uh, flexible it gives you the flexibility to mount it wherever you want so that's that more foam and inside the foam you have the little rubber feet and then let's get to the sub it's got a really strong smell of paint in there and uh there it is. There's a sub. It's not that big. It's got a nice small footprint to it. Almost looks like a birthday cake. Let's give you guys a close-up. On the back you have your speaker connection left and right. The speakers themselves are not labeled as left and right so you can decide what you want to put where and you can also hook up the control arm or the little control unit uh, to wherever you want. Then you have the uh, preamp input. This little connection is for the the little control module that I showed you and that's all it is. It doesn't have a power button, nothing. It just uh, as is and we'll go over some of that in a bit. And that's all it comes with. The two set of speakers, the subwoofer and the amp, the control unit, the feet, any owner spaniel, that's all in the box. They don't provide with any additional cables. Well, no, there's no power button in this thing. So once you hook it up, that's it. You just leave it on 24 seven, seven days a week. Um, you you never turn it off. Uh, I've heard, I've read in forums, uh, different people talk about how amp blew up. And one of the things they associate with that is that they probably, you know, unplugged it, plugged it back in, turn it off, turn it back on. And once you do that too many times, this amp has a hard time catching up every every now and then. So the best thing to do, and it's also recommended by Klipsch, is that you leave this thing power on all the time. You plug it in, you set it, you forget it. Uh, let's hook this thing up and do some test. Uh, I'm not gonna do music this time. I'll play like some movie trailers. And the reason I'm gonna do movie trailers because I'm interested to see how this will sound like. Let's do Wonder Woman 1984, the new trailer. This world is not yet ready for all that you will do. Her time will come, Diana. Wow, that's amazing. Be different. So I'm leaving this volume. Um, as where that little mark is, I'm just keeping it there. And then I'll adjust the rest of the thing with my uh, main volume. And so far already, ju I'm just standing here. Again, this thing is sitting on top of my desk. And I can feel the vibration on the floor. Diana, look at you. It's like now one day has passed. I'm 
don't want to be like anyone. I want to be an apex predator. You've always had everything, but people like me have had nothing. Well, that's my turn. Get used to it. You know, I'm not so keen on this one, I figure uh, you are, but you know what, I'm ready to go. I think we can do better. Parachute pants? Yeah, um... Does, it, does everybody parachute now? Oh yeah, that sounded really, really good. I mean, my God, this thing is m impressive, no joke. I mean, even though this thing is suspended from the ground, the fact that this vibrates my desk and my desk vibrates the leg and that vibrates my ground, that's just, that was good. I mean, I, I, um, the room I'm in, it's about, I would say nine by 10 and the entire room is pretty, filled up just by these speakers um, so definitely if you have a gaming station and you're in close proximity of the control unit uh, or even if you don't want to be close proximity of the control unit if you have a gaming uh, station and you want to hook this thing up yeah definitely this thing will you know kick some major uh, you know low frequency your way uh, let's play something else oh you know what just came out uh, the new batman trailer and that's a must. The hell are you supposed to be? good um that scene where he was punching that guy i mean you can feel those punches right on the on your feet and you know i'm i'm standing nowhere near that near it but uh, again the feedback just uh resonates throughout the ground uh yeah i think i'm gonna get rid of my edifiers i wasn't planning on keeping this but holy cow goodbye edifiers between i mean those speakers back there they cost a hundred dollars too but this cost since i was able to get it for a hundred dollars and it comes with a dedicated subwoofer uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. A couple of things I do want to note is I think Klipsch could have uh, done a little better at designing these things, you know, just to keep up with. I mean, we're in 2020. We should have optical, you know, optic input on these things by now. I mean, why it's not in there baffles me. Um, you know, you just get your good old fashioned 3.5 millimeter jack, which is fine. It's it's not a big deal. It's not a you know, a total deal breaker. For 100 bucks, you can't go wrong. One thing I am curious about finding out is how much uh, power this thing actually draws when it's not being used. It's, it's gonna stay on all the time, and I, I don't know what that's like. I don't know. But if you have any thoughts on it, I would love to hear it, and your experience about with the speakers, um, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to a one week review, sort of. Uh, so I've been using this uh, unit for about a week now, uh, since I last purchased and since I last did the unboxing and since then uh, I've had it hooked up to my computer I use it to play games uh, listen to music one of the things that resonates with me well is how good this subwoofer is how well it produces sound and how hard this thing can kick the frequency and immerse you into you know whatever you're watching whatever you're playing now my problem is those little speakers they just, they only have there's just a bunch of you know three inch drivers with a horn tweeter the three inch driver doesn't work it's just not you know strong enough not big enough to produce the mid-range uh, especially when you have the subwoofer underneath your desk and that's how i had it but where else i'm going to keep it in front of me 
Uh, so I, you know, subwoofer stayed under my desk. It produces sound fine, but again, you don't hear the mid-range as well. And this little drivers, they don't do a good job of, you know, producing that uh, quality sound that you're looking for. Uh, the tweeter makes the sound very crisp. It makes it very clear. My personal choice, I don't like speakers that are this sharp. I like speakers that are a bit more uh, warm to the ear. It sounds a little, a little more pleasant uh, that you hear all the notes, all the uh, little instruments, but in a nice way, not like it's poking you with a stick. Other things I noticed about um, this package is how hot this thing can get. The amp is built inside the subwoofer unit and it gets really hot. It consumes about 16 watts of power um, and that's not good. That's not energy efficient. My shoe subwoofer consumes less power than this thing when it's on standby. And like I, you know, earlier I mentioned that this thing just stays on all the time. There's no way to turn it off. Yeah, there's no way to turn it off. You kind of just plug it straight in and it just stays that way. And it continues to stay that way no matter what. It's not recommended that you unplug it and you plug it back in or you power it down and you power it back on all the time because as many times as you do that, there's a surge of electricity that's going inside the amp and that can cause damage uh, you know, over some time. So it's not recommended. The recommendation is that you plug this thing into the, to your outlet and you leave it as such. Now, given that this thing uh, eats about 16 watts of power um, and it's more than any of my other uh, sound system, it kind of sucks. Uh, it feels like this is a speaker from you know back in 2003, 2002, but nothing of 2020, uh, you know, we're at 2020, we should have, this whole system should be energy efficient to begin with. Uh, it should not have to draw this much power. The amp, you know, when you plug it in, even if it stays on, when it's not in use, when there's no signal coming in, this thing should go and stand by and it should only consume pff, about, let's say, five watts, six watts. No, it should not be any more than that. But again, the amp requires it. And the reason I say that, because I have a Klipsch subwoofer and I tested that one. That subwoofer can produce somewhere between 300 to 400 watts. It can run uh, with, with that energy. Um, and when that subwoofer is on standby, it only consumes six watt, that's it. But this thing on the other hand, there's no power switch, there's no auto standby, nothing. You plug it in and it just sits there and it draws 16 watts when it's not being used at all. So for something to consume that much power when it's not being used, doesn't make sense to me. And I think Clips can do a better job at this because they have the technology to make better amplifier that's suitable for this. And for those reasons, I'm sad to say that I'm not gonna keep this. I love this subwoofer, I really do, but I'm not gonna keep it because it doesn't make sense to me. I feel like this is a unit that's from the past and they're just trying to sell it off with inventory um, and I think they can do a better job of putting together a unit that will consume less power when it's on standby really I mean if this thing needs power to stay alive it can take power to stay alive but it doesn't need to take that much power to stay alive because Klipsch does have subwoofers that does not consume this much power uh, it's not a bad unit it is good if you're okay with the power consumption if you're okay with uh, very sharp audio coming out of the speakers, then yeah, why not? It makes sense. But me, I like my uh, audio to be a little softer. I like my audio to be a little warmer. Uh, so they sound better, uh, you know, from close proximity. I wouldn't use this for, uh, you know, studio development of music or anything. I don't recommend them. Uh, when you compare the edifiers and this one, um, the Klipsch speakers, given the size, this thing sounds very, it sounds like a tin can versus the edifiers, they sound like proper bookshelf speakers. So anyways, that's kind of just uh, me sharing my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, as for me, I'm gonna just pack it up and return it to the store. Um, I have no need to keep it. I would have kept it if this thing didn't eat so much power, but it does. And I would have kept it if this thing did not get so hot, uh, but it does. And for those reasons, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.